everyone, this is Freddie with Superbike Unlimited again. Uh, wanted to give you a quick update. We're doing some testing with the uh, ZX10 RR on the dyno today. Hopefully the wind noise from the fans isn't too loud and you can hear me all right. Um, what we're doing today is basically just refining the blipper and the quick shifter. To give you an update on how things went at Tally and at uh, Barber, I overestimated uh, how much uh, this thing was going to be ready to race. And I'm sure anybody that's tuned to MoTeC is probably laughing at me right now because uh, I was for sure overconfident. And uh, there was a, a still quite a bit of setup work to do on this thing. So what we basically did is set up a lot of sensors, set up a lot of base parameters and tables, um, but for sure did not get a chance to put in any fast laps. And it was mostly just making adjustments, going out, looking at data and making refinements and then doing more pulls and, and, uh, and laps at, at like 50, 60% pace just to get everything working. So it wasn't the, the funnest weekend, but we got a whole lot done and the weather also hampered us quite a bit. The, uh, the first day we were there, it was all rain. We literally just hung out in the trailer and, and uh, really didn't get much done. So second day, really cold, barely did any riding. And then the third day is when we got all of our work done. So on the bright side, we're, we're for sure further along, but uh, we're gonna have to go back and do at least one or two more of those days to really get everything dialed. But at least I feel like now we at least have the base to then set up our rider rates and stuff. We did work on some torque mapping and stuff. So the bike's getting there. The other thing I noticed is that the quick shifting and blip strategy at the racetrack was not to my liking it was in my opinion a bit aggressive and, and harsh you could say so we're just kind of tweaking that on the dyno it's not going to be exactly the same on the racetrack but it'll at least give us sort of a starting point so uh what i'm going to do now is we're just going to jump on and i'm going to do some pulls first i'm going to show you um what the dash looks like doing some pulls so you can see the the rev counter and stuff like that and uh, the shift lights which look really trick we've customized those a bit and uh then we're gonna have Justin, which you may remember, Justin Wheeler. This is uh, OG Superbike Unlimited. He's uh, he's gonna record me doing some pulls. He's actually in town because we're gonna be going to VIR with Moto America. So that's gonna be next. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned. We're gonna do a couple of pulls real quick and I'll show you what this thing looks and sounds like. sure a fire breather as you can see it's uh it's honestly a beast and that feels much better it's kind of hard to say obviously the dyno is so much different from what it's going to be like under load at the racetrack but um still feels a little aggressive but uh it, that's at least going to be a step in the right direction and i think it'll be a lot easier just to shift the thing without uh having to apply so much force at the lever which is what i was experiencing at barber so it's definitely making some good power just so you guys can see we're just kind of goofing off the mapping and stuff's really not 100 percent but there's some uh some numbers for you right now we're making about 193 horsepower or so and 82 torque that's uh um, that's all standard engine of course we really have done nothing on this motorcycle to make more power other than this really nice aero exhaust system which is essentially a, a replica of the world superbike exhaust and uh, one thing i was going to let you guys know we can actually sell these now that was a concern before we actually got these up on the site now so if you want to get this for sure the best exhaust system for this motorcycle that's commercially available 
but uh, all we've done is that exhaust and an MWR air filter and actually tuning our MoTeC package. So pretty good out of a stock engine. Um, so next, obviously, we've got some, some kit parts and a little bit of service that we're gonna do to this thing. Um, hopefully, we're gonna have time to do that after this next uh, test at Barber, um, which is, again, sort of loosely based on the weather and stuff, but that's that's the plan right now is go to Barber, do some more testing, dial this thing in, and then go do some actual racing on this motorcycle and uh, hopefully do some fast laps. So hopefully you enjoyed this today. I hope uh, it was fun to watch and it sounds as good in the video as it does in person. Um, if you have any questions about anything or if you want to see anything in the next video, be sure to comment below and uh, we'll take care of it for you. Thanks for watching.